All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Shamar Ward, GMS Raleigh, North Carolina County, coming back with a quick lesson. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash. Next up, honors to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone that taught me the 100% truth according to the King James Bible along with the Apocrypha. And double Shalom to the birds that go on the highways and the byways and do these be listen to feed the old full of light as well as the one-third remnant working out their salvation with fear and trembling. Peace and blessings to all also. All right, you know, just a quick lesson on staying sharp, you know. And without further ado, this is Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. <clears throat> it says, Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Kind. And, you know, according to... You know, us being Israelites, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, a friend is also an Israelite unto us, you know. And um, sharpening the, as iron sharpening of iron, you know, we sharpen one another through these scriptures, you know, the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, you know, to make one another um, a better Israelite, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> That's having love for, um, having love for, uh, your neighbor, you know, your fellow Israelite, you know, and, um, you know, another way is, you know, the lesson's going in, um, staying sharp, so, this is, uh, my next precept, this is Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, it says, blessed is he that readeth, you know, blessed is somebody that readeth the prophecies and the wisdom, knowledge, understanding this Bible contains, you know, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, you know, the things that are, the, the, the events that are uh, to happen in the near future, you know, blessed are you that read, that readeth these things and hear these things, you know, cursed be the ones that, that uh, don't read and don't hear because they ain't going to know what's going to befall them in the um, times to come. And it says, and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand, you know, we understand that the time is in hand, and Lord Yahweh Bashim, the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming with a band of angels, you know, to render that righteous recompense and set up his kingdom on the earth. And you know, and we understand that we need to keep those things, you know, the uh, law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, as well as keeping our garments spotless, you know, doing the work, you know, um, <clears throat> showing love into our uh into our neighbor, our brother, as well as our sister, you know, um and um Basically, everything that the Lord commanded us to do, you know, do it to the best of our ability, you know, for the time is at hand, you know. Um, yeah, just, a, you know, quick little precept. This is uh, Luke chapter 21, verse uh, 36. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man, you know, staying sharp, staying diligent, you know, being on your P's and Q's, you know, you're going to be uh, watching, therefore, and you're going to be praying, you know, part of, you know, that's what's going to keep you sharp in this, keep you sharp in this truth, you know, because <clears throat> you don't know when the, um, the Heavenly Father is going to send His Son back, the, uh, yeah, how Shah doesn't even know when he's coming back. Well, we know, we understand because we measure through the scriptures that it's going to be soon, you know. And, you know, if we sharpen, we on our P's and Q's, we're going to be able to stand before the Son of Man, you know. We're going to be able to stand before him in, in, in that time, you know, that time of salvation for uh, his remnant, you know, and destruction for two-thirds as well as the heathen, you know, so the Lord can set up his righteous kingdom, you know. And, um... My next precept, you know, is uh, 2 Nehemiah chapter 9, verse, uh, verse 1. Because, um, you know, part of staying sharp is, you know, staying up on current events and, you know, being in the know, you know, not being overtaken by the um, by uh, Esau's devices. So this is um, 2 Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 1. It says, He answered me then, and said, measure out the time diligently in itself, you know, diligently, constantly, you know, constantly um, um, 
measuring the times, constantly seeing what's going on in the news, what's going on in the world, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know, the MOB, you know, measuring the times, seeing what's happening with that. You know, um, this, um, this jab, you know, they had the um, recall on the jab because um, it's causing blood clots, you know. You, you, being, you being in the know of that, you know. And it says, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, you know, we've seen these prophecies come in the past, which we uh, read about beforehand, you know, then shall thou well understand, then shall we know that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You know, when the world's, when the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, is coming to visit this world, you know, he's bringing, he's bringing forth death, destruction, and all these calamities, you know, because that's what the scriptures prophesy about in these times that's going to be befalling uh, the face of the earth. Death, <clears throat> you know, destruction, famine, you know, calamities, uh, storm and tempest. It says, therefore, verse 3, therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the, in the world, you know, we're seeing uproars of the people. You, you know, you we constantly been seeing um, um, riots and uh, whatnot, race riots. You know, because of uh, the way the uh, Israelite is being the uh, Israelite man, woman, and child are being um, treated by uh, law enforcement as well as um, the heathens. You know, you see race riots going on, and you see earthquakes going on throughout the world. You know, <clears throat> you know, and it says. Then shall thou well understand, you know, verse 4, then shall thou well understand, then shall we, we, we will strongly know that the Most High spake of those things from the, I mean, from the days that were before thee, you know, he spoke from the, from the times before <clears throat> they was happening, before they was going, before they was going, going before they was going on. It says, even from the beginning, you know. The Lord declared his word from the beginning, from the foundation of the earth. So everything was predestined to happen, <clears throat> you know. And that was pretty much all I had for you today, you know. Just stay sharp, stay in, the, um, stay in these, um, stay in this word, you know. Stay measuring the times, you know. Stay up on your current events. And, um, you know, matter of fact, I got one more for you. I got one more for you. This is Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You know, blessed is that man, you know. You know, in Revelation 1 and 3, it says, Blessed is the man that readeth and heareth this, oh, the words of this prophecy. You know, so blessed is that man. This His, his, his uh, priorities and his mindset is on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And he's not doing what this world promotes. He's not... Uh, partaking in these abominable um, ways. It says, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. You know, he's not doing, he's not, his uh, his manner and his conduct is not of the ways of this world. You know, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, that's what he's meditating on. He's sharpening his mind. You know, he's, um, <clears throat> He's digesting that spiritual meal of these uh, precepts as well as the understanding and the stability of these scriptures. You know, he's in the um, protection of the Lord. He says, and, his, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Con, you know, that's where his mind, you know, that's where his heart is at. Meditating on the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai day and night. All right. Well, that was pretty much all I had for you today. You know, until next time, I want to say Shalom. But before I close out, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how will by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Next time, I want to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. They taught me the 100% truth according to the King James Bible, as well as the Apocrypha, through the spirit and power to be Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And a double Shalom to the brothers and sisters of the hopeful elect. You know, peace and blessings to y'all. Until next time, I say Shalom.